Very much so. I very much enjoyed it. But let's go into this. There was a, there was a zero hour pre show, probably one of the best that they've done. Uh, the Jeff Cobb match was nice, was good. Matt Bernard, Angelo Parker, um, defeated uh, Shin Shinobi Shinobi Shadow Squad, which is cheeseburger. Uh, okay, cool, whatever. But it was a, it was a fine. That Top Flight match was fantastic. Top Flight defeated the Kingdom. I think a lot of people were surprised. Darius and, and Dante Martin defeating the kingdom, which is Matt Taven and uh, Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett slimmed down a lot, uh, much more leaner. Matt Matt Taven, you know, he's a great worker. He's a great wrestler. Uh, it just, I think his last, that world title run did not work for him. And, and, it, and it kind of hurt him in the eyes of a lot of people. But let's go to the main show here. Blake Chris, Christian, AR Fox, if he had a Roosh, uh, who did you don't have it in the notes here? Who did who, who, can you pronounce this? MG Khalees, yeah, yeah, Darlistico. There you go. Yeah, I couldn't. Your, your thing is in there. I, I didn't want to get it wrong, D dude. This was a great match. Uh, AR Fox is fantastic. I've seen him here in the Northeast for a long time. Uh, I thought it was a great match. Just what happened? In, what happened in that match? What was that ending? MG. I'm sorry. Oh. What was that ending? What happened there with the count? Oh, I, I honestly I think they messed up. I think somebody I think the wrong yeah, guy. Yeah, they ended. messed up. Uh mm. it really sucked the energy out of the room, but but Roosh you know and 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 just losing his mind and and pushing, you know, uh throwing chairs, unprotected headshots. Uh Darlistico. Thank you so much. Another another typo there. Thank you. Dar Dralist Darlistico. Dralistico. I can't say it. I don't know why I can't say it. I can't say it. I'm so sorry. Uh Athena defeated Mercedes Martinez to win the ROH Women's World Championship. Fine match. Uh I was I was in and out for this one, but the crowd was getting into it. You're building Athena up for, for the ROH side. I think that's a positive for her. Swerve in our glory. Keith Lee and, and Swerve Strickland defeated <clears throat> Shane Taylor Promotions. Shane Taylor and uh, J.D. Uh, Griffey. I thought this was fine. They're building the story, continuing the story between Swerve and Keith Lee. That was the main thing here. You also got Shane Taylor in front of TV. Uh, Shane is impressive. He's a big dude. Giant dude. Former tag partner of Keith Lee, so it made all the sense here. Embassy. It was a big pop there. It was big, yeah. Big, big pop when they faced off. That, that well, how about the catch when he special. caught him? Oh, that was great. He went too. for a cross body, <laughs> caught him. I mean, these, these are big giant dudes, right? Uh, Embassy defeated Dalton Castle and the boys to win the ROH Six Man Tag Team Championship. All right, we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm more. I'm more. Uh, I, I think this could be a nice rehab for Brian Cage. He's been very unutilized. I'm not going to say poorly. I don't know what goes on backstage. I don't know what kind of you know conversations they're having. But I, I would say that this is a – at least this is putting him in front of TV. And I think in Ring of Honor, he could be an impressive top guy there. You know, if, if you're building the product and you're going to have more mid-card acts, you know, trying to trying to give them TV time and trying to build them as, as a brand, I think this is a great person to have there. Wheeler Yuta defeated – my notes are all wacky here. Sorry. Wheeler Yuta defeated Daniel Garcia to win the ROH Pure Championship. We've seen them wrestle before. Uh, what did you think of this match? Do you think their first one was better? I'm asking the chat room here and, of course, MG. You think the first one was better or the second one? I think I think the I think this one was. Um, it's such a good I match like every time. Yeah. They. I like the story they told where um, – Wheeler Yuta used up all his rope breaks and um, basically was on the verge of getting DQ'd. Uh, and because Daniel Garcia forced him to um, uh, forced him to uh, punch at the beginning of the match. Yeah. So that that I thought was clever. The way yeah, they listen, did that, that style is story. my favorite style of wrestling. You know what these guys are doing with the pure title? Uh I very much like this style. I think anybody that watches or listens to me talk about professional wrestling over the last decade or so, decade and a half even, uh, you know, the Danielson style, 
You you know, Garcia's great. Yuta's great. I mean, I love that kind of wrestling. So I was so into this match. And then we got the Briscoes and FTR. Double, double dog collar match for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. I was, you know, the way this was announced, I don't think people went into this and said, you know, this is going to be, it was a hot feud, right? Like the way they announced this, it was the uh, the ass boys announcing the match for the Briscoes or the challenge for the Briscoes to FTR. Okay, whatever. End of the show. People were making jokes about it. But you got the, this was the third match. I w- went into this thinking, how can they top the last one? How can they top the time before? Boy, they did it for me. This was oh, blood. <laughs> unbelievable. It, I mean, they were. It was everybody was bleeding from the beginning, right? The match was like a couple minutes, and everybody's bleeding. They did such a unbelievable job with this tag match with a gimmick like a dog collar match. You know, which generally, you know, and this is the difference here when WWE does stuff like this, which they don't do too often. But when let's say they do a collar match, I want to leave the room i have zero interest in it because i know how it's going to go it, it is beyond it it, bec- it becomes almost a a a negative for the match it takes away from it because they're working around this thing these guys utilized it in every possible way spots had happened that you would not see because of the dog collars i was so impressed by all of them everybody that participated in this match it was remarkable i i really you know the Briscoes are great, right? Uh, FTR, uh, the, the run of their career this past year. Now they're losing the titles, which is part of the story. And it's going to continue on, right? We're, that's what we're expecting here. But I loved everything about this. The the storytelling, the match, it, it did not get affected by the dog collar. And it was remarkable. I this was I give this I, I this is a five-star match in my opinion. Because I went in with very little expectation, and I came out of there loving it. Unfortunately, the match that followed this was Juice Robinson and Samoa Joe for the ROH World Television Championship. I thought this would have been a great match any other place. Uh, It did not. The crowd was much more subdued. No fault of, of Joe or Juice. I think this was, you know, this is Juice's first showing in this capacity i'm curious what they do continuing from here but joe defeated juice robinson also the briscoes uh, if for people who didn't see the briscoes defeated ftr if, if there is anything that you need to watch from this show i'm going to say watch that show watch that match it is it is probably going to be uh one of the greatest tag matches you know if, if you create a list of great tag matches from this era this is on that list i i don't see how it can't be uh, and you know the Briscoes really don't work every week. They're not they're not wrestling five days a week, six days a week. So the you know they they came out here and they did an unbelievable job. Also, Claudio Castagnoli defeated Chris Jericho to win the ROH World Championship in, and he submitted with it by the giant swing. Very unique ending. I did not hate it, but these guys had a great match too. Did you like the match, MJ? Because a big story, I mean, obviously the Briscoes and, and FTR was the story of this show, but did you enjoy this match also? I did. I did like I did this too. match. And and with the, uh, I have never, I've been watching wrestling for 30 plus years and I've never seen a finish like that before. Fantastic. Fantastic job. Mm-hmm. Very unique finish. And I, and I really liked it. 